hot on the heels of the reworked Santa Fe comes this all-new 2022 Tucson. Now, the rework touches every facet. From the look to the cabin to three new powertrains, it really does take some very big steps forward. The Tucson's new look is a radical departure. It's called parametric dynamic design, whatever that actually means. Regardless of striking LED daytime running light, sharp angular creases throughout the body, and the sharp four-segment tail lights transform it from frumpy to funky. Move inside and the changes are no less radical. First impressions come from the freestanding 10.25 inch instrumentation. It is different but functional in spite of the lack of a cowl. Surprisingly, bright sunlight did not wash it out. Where most models get an 8 inch infotainment touchscreen, the Ultimate earns a slick 10.25 incher. Bose support wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a solid Bose sound system. Finally, the push button shifter replaces the outgoing lever, which brings a cleaner look to the layout. The safety equipment list includes all key features and then some. A small button on the right side of the steering wheel activates the highway driving assist. It keeps the Tucson centered in its lane during normal driving and it works with the adaptive cruise control. When the cruise is activated, the Tucson has a semi-autonomous drive function. The sharp sheet metal wraps a body that is longer, wider, taller and now rides on a 2755mm wheelbase, which is up 105 mil. A stretch of this magnitude adds significantly more room for the passengers and cargo alike. The rear seating accommodations, well, two taller riders fit easily and they do so in heated outboard seats. Cargo space, you ask? Well, there is plenty. 1,095 litres with the seats upright, and if you fold the whole lot flat, that number grows to 2,119 litres. Now, by way of reference, that's actually more than the Santa Fe. The Tucson arrives one of three ways. It starts with a 2.5 litre inline four that makes 187 horsepower and 178 pound-feet of torque. It drives the front or all four wheels through an eight-speed automatic transmission. Next up is this hybrid model. It uses a 1.6 litre turbo four that makes 180 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. It works with an electric motor and a 1.49 kilowatt hour battery. The electric motor adds another 59 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque, which ups the net output to 227 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. The hybrid works with a six-speed automatic to drive all four wheels. Now, in this case, the all-wheel drive system works seamlessly to deliver better grip across the board. So if you're in the market, it's money well spent. Now, one of the really neat tricks with this new Tucson is the fact that you can pull it out of a parking spot all by itself. Come along, come here. There you go. So the next time some twerk parks way too close to you and you can't open the driver's door, well, now you don't have a problem. Yes, it's very much of a gimmick, but it is pretty cool. Later this year, a plug-in hybrid will land. It uses the same 1.6-litre turbo four, but it works with a brawnier electric motor that makes 90 horsepower and 224 pound-feet of torque. It gets its juice from a larger 13.8 kilowatt hour battery that delivers around 50 kilometers of electric only driving. The result, 261 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. In terms of ride and handling, the suspension does a good job of keeping body roll under control without making things feel harsh on the highway. The steering has got good feedback and it turns in quickly. The hybrid versions also get e-handling technology. Heading into a corner, the electric motor applies a braking force to the front wheels to sharpen the steering response. At the exit, it applies torque to the rear axle, which delivers better acceleration out of the corner. Of course, everything can be tweaked. Forget eco, stick with smart for the city and sport for the fun times. It not only adds more steering feel, the all-wheel drive system now sends more power rearward for more of the time, which ups the sportiness. There are also snow, sand and mud terrain modes, meaning it can also handle some mild off-roading. What a difference a rework makes. This new Tucson, it's got sharp styling, a very nice cabin, it handles well, and of course you've got the hybrid advantage. The other thing, its newfound size also gives it the space to accommodate a growing family. Now, if you're wondering what effect this Tucson is gonna have on Santa Fe sales, well, you're not alone.
So here's the question, where were you 32 years ago? I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well, I was in diapers, but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up and also subscribe. We really appreciate it.